This is just something that I think might be able to help you when you're busy working with a very sort of intricate model um, or design. Sometimes you're working with opacities and certain images are layered to be able to create the effect. And this is a, a crazy robot I got here. If I draw circles around it, you'll notice it's made up of all different shapes. Um, so they got the two eyes there and the little face and mouth area and a little area on top. But the purpose of this little diagram is just to show you that if you look in the layers palette here, you'll see that the ellipse is on top, then underneath it, it's that object, that one, and so forth as we go down. But now, if you are busy working on this area and you're wanting to um, get hold of these eyes, for example, uh, most of the time people will go and go look and see, okay, I've got a label, this is polygon 1 and polygon 2, and then they go do the adjustment on there. However, you often want to be working here, yeah, not every time go to the layers palette. So a nice quick way of getting around is to get into your move tool, which is the, the arrow up here, or you can press V. And if you want to get to this particular eye, it might be right in front of us or it might be layered down further at the back. In this case, if we look in the layers, it's set underneath a few other things there. So if I click on here, you see it's going and it's selecting the circular area. So if I click again, nothing's happening. If I double click, it still selects the area and just the the move tool now turns into a node tool. Um, so it's, it's not even getting to this area. So how do we get to it? Simply be in the move tool and then you can press the alt key and wherever your your mouse point is hovering over, if you click there, it will start digging down from the top layer. So if the top layer is the circle, which is over there, you can watch what happens here on the right. I'm going to keep my alt button down and as I click once, it realizes that is the image on the next layer. Click again because there's nothing else in front of this. You've noticed that there was an ellipse here, but it didn't go to the ellipse first, so it didn't sequentially jump down. It basically went down the layers based on where my mouse was being held. Okay, um, If this particular area on top here, which is the one ellipse here, if this was covering this area, it would have jumped to that layer first. So if I keep all down still and I click again, it comes back. So basically, it's the circle... It's this area and it's the eye. So there are basically three things in between where I'm clicking. Now, if I go to the stop area and I click here, it will basically go there because it's now further uh, down in the area. So I'm going to click off here. Again, I'm going to go to this mouse, Alt. I'll select the first layer, keep Alt down, click again, and there I'm on the second layer. Okay, so now if I take this and I move it, up here and I'm going to say move this right back. So this particular shape is right at the back of all of the objects. So if I click over here now, okay, I want to get to that shape, so I'm busy designing and I want to get to that shape. I, If I'm going to choose going through this I section here, I basically going to go Alt, click, 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 and there we get to it there. Now, if I had to click into this area, we would have just gone from whatever's in front of this. I'm going to click off there. If I go click, 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 click. Okay, there's something else in between there, and that's where we, we are headed for. Okay, so that's how it works. It's a nice way of actually navigating. If I wanted to work on, on this particular bar here, Alt down, click there, click and there I've got it. So it might be advisable if you want to work on it and there's a part that's sticking out. However, you don't know if there's anything else over it, but you could go click, click, and you're immediately on there. Because if you had to click over here, it would still go through this kind of powder blue thing. And why would we use this? It's often we, we create layers upon layers to create different shading. Because in this case, yeah, I could create a, a maybe a red color and turn down the opacity to create a certain feel or green color, create a certain feel with it, and possibly into that area maybe do a bit of gradient. Okay, so just put the boldness up. So say, for example, it's that kind of gradient. So that's when I want to work there, and that has an effect shining through from the bottom. 
the top one if I made it a bold color um, we could do it in that way so there's a reason for having it down at different layers and often when you're working with a complicated shape that has got five six layers over each other this is about the, the great way to move down because it's it's nice and focused it's click click and you're on that area and you can start manipulating that area what happens if this entire thing is in a group um, how do you get into that group so I'm going to select all of this and just say control G as a shortcut and if you're watching the layers palette it places it all underneath in a group now I could pop down the group and do the same and then navigate through these areas but if we're on the group if I'm on there and I'm selecting them on the group if I want to click again press alt nothing is happening when I'm on the group to actually dig into the group I give a double click and then I alt and then you can start digging down into those areas okay so the double click kind of gets you into the group and then you're able to dig down deeper into the layers so like any uh, design program there's a lot of ways of doing these things I just find that this alt clicking through just streamlines things and makes you kind of zoom in and focus here on the area and kind of just alt click 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 and there we've got it and we're able then to manipulate it so while you focused over here you don't have to you know run over to the layers palette for everything okay so i hope that is helping someone along the line uh, have a fantastic day and uh, god bless